welcome and welcome back to the channel real quick uh, y'all can see what i got here this is a 3.6 chrysler pentastar and as you can guess it was ticking now let me show y'all why it was ticking i have countless videos explaining the tick what was going on okay now and i've seen the gotten better at finding out which side is ticking based on the sound based on the noise i actually uh, got this one right now you out there in the do-it-yourself world might not have to do this but here uh, some of the dealerships some of the warranty companies will not pay they will only pay for what's broken in other words you got to find out which side is noisy and repair that side only or repair the broken lifters on that side only so we have to do that so if you out there in the aftermarket world you freelancer just replace everything if you you know deem it necessary but let's look at right here as you can see this cam load is wore out so the noise was basically coming from this okay that's the ticking noise they was hearing that's no big deal that's no secret everybody's seen that I'm trying to get you a good picture of this cam load but it is shot okay there you go right there all right, so that seems to be the only one, but I have no choice but to replace the camshaft because the load is ruined. She can easily end up with a misfire because you know that load compresses the valve and uh, for the valve to open and close properly. All right, so it is very essential and very needed. So what I have here is uh, a new camshaft, okay? Now, somebody asked me one time, can you swap camshafts or can you... Uh, reuse the same camshaft um uh, if the lobes are good in the camshaft or of an engine you just pulled out of i really don't see any problem uh with using uh used cam okay the lobes are what's important all right um so it all depends man this was under warranty so i have no choice but to replace i think if it was my own car and i had a spare bank two exhaust camshaft laying around i would use it that's me personally all right so let me get on with it and also what i have here of course my lifters i'm gonna replace these lifters and uh some intake gasket valve cover gasket uh if you're pulling the intake off they want you to uh replace the, these little things right here they want you to replace these little o-ring gaskets so i have those now doing this job is fairly e I guess it's easy for me to say so what I'm gonna do is just take the time and chain off bring bring up top dead center take the time and chain off take one of the cam phasers off that way I can easily gain access to the cam and thank goodness it's in bank two because bank two is right here uh, easy to get to so this shouldn't take me long at all I might try to film some of it for you but uh I gotta get started man let's get with it all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. Let me show you where I'm at. Okay, I got my wrench right here. What we want to do, these camshafts have hex, uh, a spot where you can actually turn the camshaft. And uh, so I have my wrench on there, and what I'm going to use is my, my big socket right here to uh, to remove the, one of the phasers, in this case, the exhaust phasers on bank two. Okay, so we're going to get that loose. But uh, here's the tool you may need. You may need it, you may not. Sometimes I don't use it when I can't find it, but I have it. So you simply place that in there, that locks the two phasers together, which make this a little easier to, uh, you know, break loose. Okay, I already have it broken loose for this demonstration. So you simply remove this and uh, the cam phaser will be out of your way. And from there, you just have to remove all the uh, bearing caps. That's, those are T30s, so remove all of those, and you will be able to lift the cam. Oh, now, take a look at what I did. I marked, I brought top dead center up, like I mentioned earlier, okay? And I marked the links. Okay, now, it's not going to fall out of timing, but you just like a reference point. So find some, uh, what did I use? I use, uh, I use my little uh, inkjet marker, mark the links. Just so I can get it back in time the way it came out. Uh, top dead center, bring up the top dead center. Okay, I have the, uh, 
oil control valve the boat phaser boat off now all i'm gonna do is uh tap that off of there then like i say remove the bearing caps and uh, the phasers be off so let's get with it All right, so what I did was uh, simply, like I said, I got the phaser off, the exhaust phaser. Um, I still got it in time where I got the intake camshaft phaser still on the timing mark. Okay, I took all the caps off. Make sure you take all the rod there and caps off. And uh, here you have it, man. Here's the camshaft right here. Okay, now let's take a closer look at this load. Y'all see that? Come on, focus, baby. Yeah, so that's where all your noise was. Now, this could have been easily avoided, man. I try to tell people this all the time. Your first sign of noises, it's the one that was in question. Your first sign of noises, you should jump right on this. See that? If you do it right away, you will not eat into your camshaft. You'll be able to save that extra money. But now you need lifters, I mean rocker arms, and a camshaft. Okay, so like I said, I said before, I said again, it could easily be avoided. Ain't much you can do about a, a rocker arm that's wearing. I mean, there's no liquid solution out there. There's no oil additive out there that will, uh, you know, fix this. Okay, they just simply have to be replaced. All right, so I'm going to end this video right here, man. Thanks for watching. If your engine ticking, get it done as soon as possible so you will not need camshaft. And that will save you some money. So thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video.